Hello YouTube, I'm going to show you how to create DVD menus using DVD Styler. First, let's create a new project. You're on the welcome screen. You can change the disk label, anything you want, but in this tutorial I'm going to choose DVD. The disk capacity is single layer. If you want dual layer, just choose this. Video bitrate is best on auto, so you won't mess the bit rates at all. Audio bitrate is fine and here's the complicated bit the default title post command means what does the video do next after the last video is played so these three does what it does call last menu means the last menu it came from call root menu means the first menu played and play next title in which the video is played with another video and Choose your format, PAL or NTSC. I choose NTSC. And aspect ratio, you can choose this. I choose 16 by 9. And choose the audio format into AC3. Because MP2s are, are way too big and may not fit your DVD. Click OK. You can choose templates, but in this tutorial we're not using templates. OK. The first thing you have to do is to import files. You have three ways to do this. You can choose this button, add file, choose the file browser, or I choose just dragging files from Explorer. Now. We can add more titles just like anything else in there. You can also add pictures. And that will create a slideshow. Now, let's make the main menu. First, you can choose a background if you want to. Let's choose this. Or, if you don't like the DVD backgrounds, you can choose your own picture. To do this, you can go to the file browser here, and let's choose something. Something. Yeah, the spaghetti is good. Or this. Right click to assign the background or just double click it like so next let's create video buttons to do that it's just pretty easy drag and drop don't worry if you just put a slideshow it doesn't really show the thumbnail since it's a slideshow and DVD style will make the slideshow first okay then let's add a title right click add text let's make it very generic double click to change the font and anything else Change the fill color or change the outline with outline color, the background color, or create a shadow. But in this tutorial, we're not going to do that. Then, actually, you're pretty much done with your DVD. All you have to do is click burn. The best way is to Preview it just in case something goes wrong. You can just generate it. You just generate the DVD folder into this directory. You can change it just by clicking here. You can create an ISO image, which I really like since I would more likely to burn later rather than burn it right away. 
or if you want to you can burn it right away. That is the basics of DVD Styler. I will create another video for making more complicated DVD menus. Until then, I'm New Creator and see you later.